Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Whiskey at Work, where we're all in the same room, <laughs> mostly, with these stupid panels in between us. I this love one the has panels. a heart on it. <laughs> Do we really this have to I have these? This is how I always want to. Yeah, <laughs> this is how I always want to communicate with you. Guys. Well, why don't Pandemic you have? Or not. Don't they have like the? Um, not like quite welder's masks, but the ones that are clear plexiglass like this that you could just wear as like a helmet and wear it to work. Would you do that? No, nope. I'm not, <laughs> not going to wear a plexiglass helmet to work. I will wear my, I wear my mask <laughs> okay, and good. I would like these to be everywhere. Well, we have them. These no, are. I want them like everywhere. <laughs> you want them no and matter think, where you turn? Yeah. And I think all communication should be done uh, prison style. <laughs> so we have to talk through the telephone, <laughs> through plexiglass. Oh, oh, that's what I should have had we here. Talk to. Oh, uh, so, you know, you're you're watching this like the rest of us. You you know what's happening in the world. You know that 2020 has literally it's just. On fire. It's just been the worst, honestly. So. I am. I'm just happy though that we're kind of back to, to a little something that's normal-ish. Does it feel? None of this feel. None of does, this is normal. But look, we're back in our old room. Even we had to go back into oh, our that's old. That's kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> Coming back to our roots. Sort of. This is where it all kind of started. Was in this room. We this had actually room. not true. The first one was, oh. in the, was in was in the bar. That's right. It first was in, couple. in the back of Dean's office. It was in the 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 owner's office in his bar. That was the very first one we did. Yeah. Someday we'll revisit that place, maybe. Someday. When we can not have to worry about crap like this anymore. Like know. next week? I'm going to really? have these everywhere. Just, uh, are you going to be um, constantly masked up everywhere you go to all the time? I am. I've been wearing my mask pretty much everywhere I go. Um, and I use it in the hallways here. Just, I don't know, it's just easy. You know why I, I wear my wa- mask everywhere I go? <laughs> my mask everywhere I go? There's a one. There's one person that told me it was okay to do it. It's George Strait. George Strait told you it was okay. George to Strait said, "Look, wear a mask." And if the king of country tells me to wear a mask, you're gonna wear a mask. Damn right, I'm gonna wear a mask yeah. everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. I mean, definitely. I see where that was the deciding factor. For <laughs> me because I, I took it from doctors and nurses. Oh, you did well, no, that's, that's world health professionals. But <laughs> I can see where when George Strait George says Strait it, says it, you need to do it. Rob, what about you? I need a drink. <laughs> Are you just ready to go? Are you ready? Are you excited for what we're going to do here? This is why I can't comment on anything because I, I've worn a mask once and it was just because everybody else in the room was wearing a mask and it seemed silly once one person pulled the mask down to talk and I'm like, well, what? That kind of defeats the, the purpose, yeah. Point? I mean, if you're going to wear a mask, wear the mask, right. okay? Follow the rules. Don't Still don't touch your face. Don't pull it down to talk. Don't pull it down to sneeze, for God's sake. Saw oh, that in a just, grocery store just once. Don't, just what? Could one not on. believe that I saw that. But yeah, that happened. <laughs> That's amazing. Yep, yep. So yeah, for some people, it's, it's, it's <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, we're doomed. You're all <laughs> But what's going to save us is whiskey. I, I firmly believe that there is a healing power to this l- liquor that's going to that's gonna keep those, that, uh, those of us that drink it alive. Yeah, and I mean, if it... I think there's a healing power also, but I can't prove that it's physical, but I can prove that it's emotional. <laughs> that it gets, it gets, it gets to the soul. There's a emotional healing that happens. Uh, that makes sense. Um, what we're going to do today is go back to the, one of the very first episodes we ever did. The whole reason we started this show was because of a peanut butter whiskey that came out about a year and a half ago now, two years ago, Okay. And that was Thank the whole God for the internet bringing stories about <laughs> peanut butter whiskey light. That's the whole reason why we started this little thing. So what we wanted to do quite a while ago, because oh, it had to have been back even last summer, I think w- the first true challenger to this whiskey arrived. I mean, it was screwball was really the first true peanut butter whiskey that was on the market. And after it took off and the huge success, thanks to, to us, frankly, and uh, and the rally last year, really, that's where everybody got excited for it because they did. I feel so what sad. Um, I'm sorry. What is happening? Is there? What was that noise outside? That was Gunner with the cart. Oh, okay. And he got sure mad because he a... didn't see the table early enough. <laughs> he ran into he the table. Halfway. I said, "I'm there." Oh, sorry oh. about that. Should, should have told you. I put a table in the hallway. Um, Whiskey is back at work. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting tired? Uh, so, so there was a, a, a challenger that the, the first one that arrived that came, I believe, from 
the Elk Point Distillery in Colorado is where this the the first one has 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 shown up. There's since been others. Rams Point is out. Um, I saw that one. Uh, Dave Rebel while Stoke. I was- also, my money away on this one. <laughs> Rebel Stoke has also made a peanut butter whiskey, and I believe there's others that have hit the market. But the one we're going to taste test today is the Screwball versus the first Challenger that came out. The PB and J whiskey is what they called it from Elk Point. The Elk Point Colorado. actually oh, okay. makes normal whiskey. Yes, though, too, they right? do. Yep, yep. So is this? You said PB J whiskey. PB and J is what they call it. Does it have PB, a jelly component? PB, no, I don't think so. That's no. Misleading. Or is it just PB? No, it's PB and W. What am I saying? It's PB and W, not PB. It's probably oh, just PBW. PBW. Oh, okay. Peanut peanut butter butter have, did we not have the bottle in here? We probably should have brought the bottle in. That was dumb of me. That wasn't. No, that wasn't your fault. That well, was. She had. Was totally none of this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> She's Leslie is in the room to help job. us with this. She's the one that is keeping the whiskey separate, so we don't know what they are. So okay. Oh, fine. Yes, we don't know what they are. <laughs> See? I love surprises. It's it like, is. Well, you it's need like one now. A surprise for Leslie. <laughs> now she's ready. All right, yeah. bring them over, Leslie. Let's try. Yeah. You know, okay. You know what they are. You, Leslie has poured them. No, don't tell us. Oh, okay. Sorry, Leslie. She's got it all okay. figured out, and we're like, no, listen, don't say anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Leslie. Couldn't we have just called them the square one and the circle one, or why did we have to n- letter them too or number them? I mean, I them. can tell you that they both <laughs> smell gross. <laughs> yeah, right. don't question the method. I'm not questioning it. That's fine. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh. Would you bring us the bottles, dear? Please. Ooh. I can tell you which one's which. Mm, no, you can't. Yes, I, I can. bet you a million dollars. No, I'm not going to do that because that's stupid. I lose every bet I make. Um. Okay. Uh. Can you imagine having to go There's home and explain to Miss Scallops <laughs> that you want <laughs> a million dollars because you dollars. don't know your peanut Throw butter whiskey? Okay, I'm going to... Is it PB and W? PB and W, right? Peanut butter and whiskey. Yep, peanut butter oh, and whiskey. okay. I was right. Yeah, except, well, I was right the second time. This one's got a higher proof, dude, doesn't it? Okay. I agree. I agree with Rob. I can smell the difference. Nope, they're both 35. Yep. I can. Totally. This is screwball. Yep. The round is, the, yeah. the B is definitely screwball. Sure. Right? That's what I thought. It has to be. Well, I guess I haven't tried it yet. Try it. Shoot it back. Shoot B first. God, this stuff is bad. That tastes like screwball. It has to be, right? It has to be. Okay. Second one. Oh, we should have oh, some water. God, I wish we had some grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had some whiskey. You want me to pour some in a cup? Yeah, do a little in here to kind of... Here, we just totally broke the social distancing rule right now, too. Whatever. <laughs> Why don't you just drink right out of the cup? Like, who gives a crap anymore? We're trying. Mm-hmm. No. I didn't say we were going <laughs> to succeed. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, a bottle of just damn God, did you already shoot the square thing? one, Rob? Are you... Give us a second to let the palate. Oh my God! All right, these right. taste out of my mouth. Not even a group activity anymore. Okay, Please, here, Kelsey. Can we get a? <laughs> yeah, we have to get, get a it, picture oh, of us. We'll just do it. Yes, <laughs> we'll do that one. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try this one. Just what? Find one that's open. Perfect. No. <laughs> that one is. No. That one does taste like a company that knows how to make good whiskey that thought, you know what? Let's jump into the peanut butter market, see what we can do. It's not it's not no. bad. It's not, you know, if you if you were going to drink a peanut butter whiskey and, and put it in a drink or put it in a mix, this definitely would work. But screwball, because it's 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 the it's the only thing they do. Does that does that make sense? Right, right. You know, it's like it's like Jack Daniels deciding to make peanut butter whiskey. I think if it's the only thing you do, do it mediocre. Right, do it do it well. well I know Rob doesn't like the peanut butter whiskey, but this screwball right? screwball is great whiskey. Where we write is the is the round the screwball. We did. We all knew it. Yeah. That's awesome. We're so well, good. Well, I at mean, this. the square tastes like tastes tastes and smells more like alcohol. Yes, it does. Yeah. It it has a much thanks. 
Thank you, Leslie, very Goodbye. much. We Thank appreciate you. your help. Appreciate you. Yes. Um. So yeah, I. The screw, but I don't hate this. The screwball is. Don't like it here. Full disclosure, though. I haven't taken a shot since whenever the bars closed for the first time. Oh my goodness! And maybe a few weeks before that. Oh my, where what is what has happened to you? So I can't <laughs> cannot do this anymore. That almost killed me, and it was flavored. You mean you you can't do it anymore? Meaning you just need more to get back into the yeah, swing I have of it? To, you know, like okay. a, like an athlete condition right, their body. Right. <laughs> I mean, I a, will need. If a marathon runner took ten weeks off. And didn't do anything. Exactly. Do you think that first run is gonna suck? Absolutely. Right. So I'm coming back. I'm making my big return. <laughs> Woohoo! And I'm just gonna, you know, I figure a couple shots a day will get the. <laughs> <laughs> that should get everything working. Uh, well, that's that was that was interesting. I was I was really curious to 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 compare because I wanted to see how a like I said a true whiskey making company would come out with a peanut butter flavored whiskey. And I, 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 I think they succeeded, but again, Screwball is it's the gold standard for peanut butter whiskey right now, I think. Yeah, I agree. Rob, your thoughts? The, the Screwball is a lot more peanut butter forward. Okay. The, Definitely. The PB&W tastes more like actual whiskey, but it's still something that you would drink and not something that I overly enjoy. <laughs> Fair. I can, I can I see mean, that. You I know, guess. the flavored thing is more two thirds over there. I, uh, yeah. Well, I yeah, no, I can, I can totally see that. And, and like Kelsey said, it's you, you definitely, it's, it's a more whiskey, whiskey flavor, or peanut butter flavored whiskey. Yeah. And screwball is just a peanut, just butter, peanut butter. Yeah. It's just a peanut yeah, butter flavored. It, it drink. is pe- yeah. very much so. Well, uh, that was interesting. I feel like my reaction was, one, dramatic. (laughs) (laughs) And two, perhaps a little unfair. I really think this is due mostly to the fact that I haven't really been drinking anything except for wine when I cry myself to sleep. (laughs) So (laughs) I think Uh, it was just a bit jolting in the senses. It is. Yeah, this is. God, these times are weird right now. (laughs) They seriously are bizarre. I mean, at some point we're going to get through this. I know we will. I mean, it. it we. Some of you us know, have gotten through it already. Yeah, yeah. So, some, some can, some can put it behind them a little bit easier, probably. Looking at, look, looking at you, Rob. We tell, are. Tell we, you turn on Facebook. And we you know. <laughs> shove down your throat again. <laughs> um. So someday I'm hoping you know that we we will look back on this and be like, holy crap, 2020. You know. What an unbelievable year that just none of us have ever lived through. And we're oh we're we're older than Kelsey, obviously. You don't much, say much <laughs> older than Kelsey. Thank you. But at the same time, and less mature somehow. So, sometimes, but uh, but I mean, you are living through something that we have never experienced too. It's every age generation right now is collectively going through a single yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. And do how think how often does that happen? Right. You know? I do think that's interesting, and that's yeah. what I've been trying to explain, you know, to the boys with being out of school, is that you're you're living through your first major historical event. Yep. You know. Yeah, you go back to nine eleven. You go right. back to the and World then, Wars, the Vietnam Wars. You know, yeah, this is their, and they're what seventeen. Yeah. I have a thirteen year old. Well, you have a eighteen year old and a. And a twenty-year-old, yeah. And this would have to be their first event too. Oh yeah, they certainly don't remember anything with. And Tori was around for nine eleven, but she was. It had to have been two. just a baby, right. yeah, right. exactly. So. What do they? What do they? Do you? What do they say about it? Do you talk to them at all about this? <clears throat> you know, they're they're cautious. I mean, they we've tried to explain to them the the possible repercussions from you know doing what every teenager wants to do right um and you know the i suppose the social distancing guidelines in the bars and restaurants are, has been you know kind of inflicted on them uh, you have to follow them there's no getting around it um but you know alexa graduated this year and oh you had a kid she, that graduated she, she took it in stride uh. you know she's been doing pretty well she's i mean her 
not hanging out with their buddies even in small groups is kind of bummed her out yeah. which is coming back more and more now i mean some parents went from this end to this end you right know i mean it's we i think we're kind of in the middle if small groups get together and do their thing well then sure you know as long as everybody's forthright about being honest about where they've been and what they've done and if they're not feeling right or whatever yeah. then you know and thank god everything's worked out so far. so far yeah, yeah. well i think yeah. this can be really isolating if you're a young i mean not just if you're a young person i think for a lot of people it's a very isolating experience and i think kids have a hard time with that and i think that's fair that's valid mm-hmm. it is of course it is i, I don't i'm loving it on Stay the other hand in me. the same way the uh <laughs> i i could have spent 10 full weeks <laughs> never setting foot outside of my front door I, right? I I could have totally, totally done that. I literally yeah. went two months without leaving my house. <laughs> yeah. Without I had to get a new car battery because I didn't go anywhere. That's amazing. And I feel fine about that. Right. I mean, it still takes it. It still kind of takes a toll on you, though. Does it's it? It's still mentally yeah, a little, a little. I think even if you're introverted, I think it's still kind of. It does kind of weigh on you because after a while, you've you've run through all the stuff. You know, can you entertain yourself for two solid months of being alone? (laughs) Absolutely, I can. Without drinking, you've done it without drinking. Yeah, I have. I like I like little household chores. And if I wasn't so mouthy, I'd be a 1950s housewife. (laughs) I I like to do that, and I I've, I've taken up gardening, and I've gotten very serious about my plants. And that's They're all alive. I'm assuming they which are is good. all alive. Perfect. The old man cactus is barely <laughs> just holding on, just barely <laughs> hanging in there. Uh, I don't know what it wants. I don't give it water. It doesn't want water. I give it sun. It wants sun. I don't. I don't know what it wants. Can't talk to you. Can't figure out what. Oh, it I, needs. B- I doubt. I bought an app that's like eight dollars a month. And it tells you what's wrong with your plants and identifies them for you and. Because I don't know what a lot of my plants are. Because I uh, how many I mean, cats did you end up with? This <laughs> yeah. Cats? Yeah. Just I one mean, yeah. cat. I just have one cat, but only because my cat is uh, likes to be an only cat. Huh. Well, that's uh. If she if she was social, I'd have seven. I was <laughs> I was on your side up until the old man cactus story kicked in, and then it got weird. Why is that weird? <laughs> got, well, no, I'm sorry. Let's go to the eight dollar a month app you bought. <laughs> yeah, on your phone. I recognize that's that. That's where a that got weird. a little. Yeah, I don't know what any, I didn't know what any of my plants were. They were all like my, my mother had given them to me, or I had picked them up at garage sales, or you know what I you mean. Know, I have a million plants, but I don't. That's know That's what, what they I are. do. I can go to garage have, sales and pick up plants. You guys, I have found so many treasures oh. through this whole thing. I face. I am. You gotta have somebody else pick them up for you, though. Best customer. <laughs> yeah, who delivers them? Does somebody deliver them for Brad you? Brad has to go get. Them. Brad's got to go get them. I yeah. got it. Okay. But we have it. We have an understanding. I I find them. I deal with it. I arrange everything. All he has to do is pick them up. Okay. That's, well, that's not a bad deal then. If he doesn't have to talk to anybody. No, but Brad likes to talk to people though, so that's kind of different too, though, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I mean, don't. Yeah, exactly. So I stay home, and I wanna, then he brings me my vintage furniture. I want to let you know though that they do have Google has uh, on its Google app uh, a free if you if you type tap the camera part of it and point it at something. The Google lens. The Google lens will recognize your plants it for you. Won't though. She's arguing with Google. I mean, right I'm now. sure some of them will, totally. <laughs> but it could not recognize my cactus in its current state. <laughs> well, that's a whole so other story. Then, I had really. to get the eight that's a whole other thing. Okay. to tell me that this cactus is called an old man cactus. <laughs> and it's He's dying. Still dying. Just go ahead and throw it away. Uh, anyway. Cactus got the COVID. I'm growing herbs. <laughs> <laughs> well, bring some down. Bring. I, lo- I love cilantro if you're getting some. I okay. don't have cilantro, but I should grow it because I also love it. Yeah, I've okay. got basil. i got mint. So that's what we're doing during this whole thing. We're going to have a lot of mint. We're actually able to get back to work, <laughs> which is, uh, is kind of nice. Um, well, it is. It is stop working. No, no, no. We didn't stop, but we, it was like Rob was in in the morning. I was in in the afternoon. You were in in the morning. I was in in the afternoon. So I never got to see you guys at all for right. the last 10 weeks. I did kind of miss you. 
Well, you know, I kind of felt the same way. Yeah. That's the only time I'm ever going to yeah. say that. No, me too. It's been recorded, yeah. and that's it. That's the only time. That's the only nice thing we're going to say. <laughs> we'll need to have that done. Uh, but we're going to try to do these more again once a week. We'll try to get on this. We're going to get back to the series we were initially doing, and we're going to try to pretend that the world isn't on fire. And if it is, we're going to enjoy the drink until it burns to the ground. All right? That sound fair? Perfect. Uh, we have a new website, too. What? Yes. <laughs> 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 it's well, you tell us about it, it, Mark. It is. Let me tell you. Um, it has our videos, it has our podcasts, and it has uh, some blog stuff on there as well about whiskeys that we update at least once a week. So you can <laughs> we check do? it out. Well, <clears throat> I update at least once a week. So you can, uh, you you know, it gives you a little something I have to do. Some thoughts. I'd like to. <laughs> I, w- I would love to have yeah. your thoughts. I want you to yeah. look it out and tell That's me what you want to do. the first cool. time you've ever said that to anybody ever. What? That they, you relish somebody else's input it's because i'm a little overwhelmed with some of this right now (laughs) it's getting a little heady at the moment i'm Uh, getting a little uh, heady it is a little heady so i could use your last one was about was about just getting a little overwhelming drinking and writing my experiences about it because there's just so much of it so much to be done so much to drink (laughs) Uh, so it's whiskey-at-work.com. I know what? it's dumb. Some idiot what happened in, while I was gone? Some idiot in Texas owns whiskey-at-work.com. He's had it for five years. Hasn't and done anything with it. He's never done anything with it. So we had to do it whiskey-at-work.com. Do it once, bookmark it, then you never have to so worry about it. So if you know it. that guy in Yeah, Texas. exactly. Tell him. Really Tell him to hand it over. Do. That is the best we could do. I don't believe that. I've I, been we gone tried. For too long. You have been, but we worked really, we really hard. <laughs> yeah, there's we're putting dashes uh, in URLs. I, I, I know. Did we do it without so the bad. E? Did we try that? Does he got that one too? No. There's 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 somebody so else has really a whiskey without the yeah. They've run through it all, but nobody's using them all because they're all lame. So whatever. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Just go book that mark. Bookmark that one so we can move on. Uh, and, and Kelsey, will you please tell tell them where else they can find us? Oh, yes. <laughs> In addition to the website I didn't know about, <laughs> you can find us on Whiskey at Work at Facebook, Whiskey with the E. I don't know if they're still Yep, up here, yep, so still the same I'm place. Finger, That's right, yes. Finger gunning it up. Yes. <laughs> 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 or you can find us on Instagram, Whiskey at Work, Whiskey Without the E. See, that muscle memory, that was perfect. Good job. You didn't even <laughs> need to do this for a long time. Okay, we'll be back next week, and we're going to be drinking whiskey from Iowa. It, it's it's more exciting than it sounds. <laughs> okay, It yeah. better be better it's, than it's it Iowa sounds. Whiskey, so. Since you made me suffer through this one this week. Thank you so much <laughs> for putting up with Rob again this week. Thank I'm you, guys. I'm back. Stay safe. (laughs) Kelsey's back. Thanks for watching.